automation is the oil of the 21st century and analytics is its combustion engine. The goal is to turn data into information and information into insight. Today, we are all gathered here at Manipal ProLearn's Bangalore campus to do just that, to provide the keys to that combustion engine to all the aspiring data scientists so that they can turn data to information and information to insight. A heartfelt warm welcome to all of you to this remarkable occasion of the induction ceremony of the third batch of PG Diploma in Data Science. God we trust, everyone else must bring data, right? Similarly, how do you improve a process? Either you think this is a better process or you prove it through a data. Now, this is the reality today and that's why data science and related professions are at the center of the change which world is seeing today. And that's the context in which we had started this program. Most of you will take a journey from here to data science, analytics, AI. Interesting part of this industry is every time it's been challenged, we have something new coming up. If we are in this industry of analytics, data science, AI, it's because for the passion of the industry, nothing else. And this is where what I say would make someone lose or win in this whole analytics, AI journey, because if you have passion, to learn, you will make it. And one small pivot we always say in this industry is no one is an expert, we're all learning. Uh, in my experience, the way where analytics is going, um, you really need to think about the sustainability because the field is changing like every day. If you look at the top schools in US, top four or five schools, Stanford, Harvard, MIT, Chicago, uh, you'll be very surprised The one of the best funded analytics lab does not sit in computer science or statistics department. It is not. It is actually in the econ department. The most funded analytics lab of any of these top schools are in the econ department. The reason is simple. So when we talk to these guys, uh, some of the deans and all those, they say, what computer science guys are doing, what statistics guys are doing are great, but what we are looking now as a next phase is not to create another computer science algorithm. I want to use what is there already. In India particularly, uh, I would like to you know, say that the policy, data-driven policy making is picking up. It's all over the world it's picking up. And there is a huge scope. An average of about three people apply for a job and these are the screened people we are talking about, the right fit people. Application will be of course running into maybe hundreds. But for data science role, average of about 0.2 are applying for a job. So clearly you see the SQ and we understand the business reason behind the SQ. And that again is the reason doing this kind of program is relevant. Let's look at one more thing. And that is a shift which is happening in industry. Almost everyone, I will still say almost, not everyone, say, is saying that we will move from hiring and skilling, which was the way IT industry has grown in India. However, now people are looking at higher for skills. And the education system, and I'm of course not talking about the premier institutes, I'm talking about the large number of engineering institutes and other institutes over India, they are not anywhere close to what the industry requires in this age. And that's why doing programs like this is what is making one ready for the new age industries. Companies are looking for ambidextrous talent. If you are data scientist, we expect you to pull your own data, be good at cleansing the data, 
you know, right models, connect it with the business, uh, draw inferences out of it, think about how you make the project into a product, to a framework, into a program, so with, with certain escape velocities there, and uh, go through the system. I want to convey deep respect to all of you for making the move to data science at this very juicy moment. Card has been barreling along the road and you found all these sounds and defects and you wish you had a better car. So you've pulled into a garage and you stopped. Now take it apart and put it together again and emerge a Formula One. So remember, the formula is one third of your learning will come from the institute. One third of your learning will come from others around you. And one third of your learning will come from within. What are these Lego blocks? Where do I do what? Where do I start? I think that's the picture that we are going to see very briefly and more so detail in the coming days. I'm sure that you'll have a, a very fruitful as well as enjoyable time with us at the academy. There's a beautiful journey you are in. Enjoy it. But, uh, you know, try to learn as much as you can. You are at the cusp of learning from one of the greatest universities, which has a blend of all these tools, all these arrows that they're going to put in your quiver. Have a fantastic journey and have a happy learning with us. Mm -hmm.